Also tonight, we're taking a deeper look at the suspect's past. A woman who was targeted by McDougal as a child is bravely coming forward to share her story tonight. She is one of several people who police say experienced violence from McDougal. ABC 13 anchor Elisa Rivas is live to walk us through the timeline here, Elisa. Charlie, Eric, there are so many layers to this story, starting with the case prosecutors are building now. And it's hard to fathom Don Stephen McDougal was a family friend, a person even trusted to live in a camper behind the home Audrey shared with her father's side of the family. Despite his disturbing history, court documents don't get into what Audrey had to endure in her final moments, but they include this haunting detail. Her body was found in the water, weighted down with a rock. The rope he allegedly used was also said to be found in his SUV. McDougal's criminal history goes back more than two decades. Just last summer, police say he stabbed a man he did not know who was helping him jump a car battery. And tonight we are hearing also from one of McDougal's old co-workers who says McDougal attacked him when he threw him out of his home 14 years ago. I opened the door up and told him he needed to leave and he come at me with the knife and I had my shotgun and I hit him in the face with it and shut the door on him. I had no idea he was that kind of person. McDougal was reportedly sentenced to four years in prison for that incident. Long before the violent attacks against adults, McDougal also pleaded guilty to enticing a child in Brazoria County back in 2007. The young victim told police he crawled into bed with her and tried to remove her pants. He did not have to register as a sex offender as part of the plea. The victim is in her 20s now, and Audrey's murder is hitting her hard. ABC 13's Luke Jones is the only reporter to talk with her about this and is live now with her story, Luke. And you know, Elisa, she says what happened to Audrey could have easily happened to her. I mean, total shock when she saw Don McDougall's face pop up in online posts. And tonight she says she wants to be Audrey's voice and a voice for other children in similar situations. I'll never forget his face after that. Carissa Davis would like nothing more than to forget Don McDougall's face. I know he's a nasty man. And what he did to her one night in 2007 when she was 10 years old. She was at her uncle's Brazoria County house for a family gathering. McDougall's sisters were family friends. And he came into the room that me and my cousin were sleeping in. Davis says McDougall yanked her cousin from their bed then got into bed with her. Tried to take down my pants and I immediately jumped up at that moment. I remember looking at him and saying, do you know how old I am? Davis raced for the door with McDougal in tow. He grabbed me and when he did, I just swung my arm and I hit him. But now that he's been charged with Audrey Cunningham's murder, she can't help but wonder what would have happened had she not been able to fight back. And everybody was still asleep. I mean, my uncle's backyard was woods. I mean, it could have been me. McDougal pleaded guilty to enticing a child and was sentenced to two years in prison, but got credit for almost one and a half years served. Notably, he wasn't required to register as a sex offender and went on to face numerous other charges. I think Brazoria County definitely uh, failed me and failed Audrey and possibly more.